A big pile of rubble in South Philly is all that was left of Veteran Stadium, where the Eagles and the Phillies played, and we all went there to see them. It held so many great memories, the times we'll never forget, when we went with our friends and families to a ball game at the Vet, from the 700 level to the seats behind home plate. A football or baseball game was sure to be something great. Our team could lose or win, but there's one thing you can bet. People would come back again for a good time at the vet. There were concerts by the Rolling Stones and Springsteen and the Who. Paul McCartney, Elton John, Billy Joel, to name a few. We had Kite Man, the Fanatic, the Great Willenda, he didn't fall. The Army Navy game and the Sixers parade, champs of basketball. So let me hear you give a cheer for the memories we hold dear, the good times and the people that you met. So much concrete and steel, yet the players on the field gave us all something we never will forget. When we all came together at the vet. Remember Jaws and Wilbur Montgomery put the Cowboys in the hole. When the Eagles won the NFC on their way to the Super Bowl. And Byers and Quick, Carmichael and Ricky Waters, Ramblin' Randall was fun. Jim McMahon and Deuce A.J. Fieldy McNabb and that Dallas fourth and one. And the coaches like Buddy Ryan, Coach White, Ray Rhodes, and Dick Vermeil. And Andy Reid, the last to lead the Eagles on that field. With the old turf, the next turf, and the players, they would fret about a career-ending injury from playing at the vet. We had Andre Waters and Brian Dawkins, Reggie White and Hugh Douglas, they held the line. When Jerome Brown died, we raised up high his number 99. If a player would ever get booed, he shouldn't feel too bad because Famous Philly Boo Birds even once booed Santa Claus. So let me hear you give a cheer for the memories we hold dear, the good times and the people that you met. So much concrete and steel, yet the players on the field gave us all something we never will forget. When we all came together at the vet. Remember the Phillies in 80 and 93 gave us so many reasons to cheer. We watched Lefty and Schilling pitch, Schmitty and the Bull hit it out of here. We had Wild Thing Crocker the Dude, Gary Maddox, Dallas, and Pete Rose, and that most amazing playoff series with Nolan Ryan and the Strohs, and the managers Dallas Green and Paul Owens, aka the Pope. For Gosey, Francona, Leva, and Boa helped to keep alive the hope. And we hooted the Dodgers pitcher, Bert Hooten right off the mound, and we took Atlanta's Tomahawk and chopped the Braves on out of town. But the biggest thrill of all, 1980 in the fall, a series winning strikeout pitch by the late great Tug McGraw. As his arms reached to the sky, we cheered with Philly pride. After all these years, the sweetest moment yet. When the Phillies were the champions at the vet. So let me hear you give a cheer for the memories we hold dear, the good times and the people that you met. So much concrete and steel, yet the players on the field gave us all something we never will forget. When we all came together at the vet. On a gray winter day, 2004, the people came around to pay tribute and say goodbye once more before the vet came down. After 33 years of booze and the cheers, they stood and watched and wept as they came together one last time. For the implosion of the vet So let me hear you give a cheer For the memories we hold dear The good times and the people that you met So much concrete and steel Yet the players on the field Gave us all something we never will forget When we all came together 